Yeah, well, that's David Wallace's, and sort of he was started among a territory. But Ferguson Gully Road used to be the old highway, right? Eh? And so there's, um, and then it's all Blackwoods, yeah, down there. <laughs> but then um, when John had a, a, a tree specialist, he planted pine trees, and John probably wished that they'd never planted a pine tree. Yeah, they were been cut out by now. I cut them all out. But then we started planting natives, and you got involved with a guy in, who was planting David Wallace's next door, mm-hmm. um, Roger McGibbon from Taupin, and Natural Logic, I think it was, the company was, and we ended up planting natives and fencing off eroded areas and planting natives, mm-hmm. and sort of created a corridor from Mangatau Tree to here, and... And David Wallace planted a whole lot of natives as well. So yeah. And did, did he test the ring fence there? Is that right? That was at David's. Yeah, next yeah. door. Yeah. yeah. That was when I first came to Rara, ninety eight. Yep, ninety eight. Um, yeah, so they he planted natives, and then I don't know. Well, I would have planted probably forty thousand natives in the time that I was at Rara, mm-hmm. and they're all quite big now. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Some good areas, and all the pines have been taken out, but I think. They might have replanted them. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a pain in the ass getting them out, but <laughs> fences and trees don't don't work. Yeah. So we had some paddocks out for. We did it over two period. We had a bit of strife with one of the guys on the road that wouldn't let logging trucks pass at eight o'clock in the morning, and, <laughs> and so we had to, we we did it over two summers rather than one summer. Yeah. But. Financially, they were they were, they were good in the end, but um, John would have. I think if he had done if he had done it ten years later, he wouldn't have planted a pine tree and would have planted natives instead. Yeah. And the blackwood, the, what? what, what? They were like a weed. <laughs> <laughs> you cut them down, they keep growing. Yeah. Yeah. But but they were along the road. Yeah, they were. Yep. Just like a weed. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you sort of tucked into the hills there above the lake. Um, what what sort of with the contours and the dams and, and the lanes? What what sort of things do trees provide deer farming? Um, yeah, the shelter deer needed shelter mm-hmm. um, from prevailing winds, from f- from sunlight really as well. Mm-hmm. It was pretty well established also with big um, plane trees around the farm, mm-hmm. and um, anybody else probably early on would have cut them out, but because they were in the middle of the paddock, mm. but they were great shade. But um, they, when they first started Raro, they put the, um, put fencing not right on the boundary around the outside. So they put them in like the river on. There's a uh, um, stream around the back, mm. and they planted all that, and then along the road. Um, so they didn't actually take the deer fence right to the boundary, and so he planted a lot right from the start. Mm. Mm. Um, bit of um, riparian planting. Mm-hmm. that we did back in the 90s rather than now, what people are trying to do now. 